Welcome back. Now, yesterday, Cheryl Fernandez Fasini was spotted on the red carpet at the X Factor auditions looking very, very thin. Over the last few days, the press have picked up on this and published articles about her weight, and people were commenting on her Instagram posts talking about her weight too. And Cheryl picked up on the comments that were being posted, and she picked up and commented on one of them and said, I'm so sick and tired of being of think, people thinking it's okay to call someone too thin or a bag of bones. I would never dream of calling somebody too fat and they should maybe cut down on their food intake. What's the difference? Cheryl herself has said that there's nothing wrong with her weight and she's fed up with people going on about it and it is also getting her down sadly. Now, but is Cheryl too thin? Now, looking through some of your comments you on that you've published online, it's clear to think that you do think that she's too thin, but she's actually got a point, and we completely agree. She's, you shouldn't comment on somebody else's weight. She is too thin. We've said it loads of times, but, I mean, here are some of your comments. Now, Debs Manners said, absolutely agree with Cheryl. What right does someone have to say things like men prefer meat, bones are just for dogs a thin person's body shaming is not okay whether it's fat or thin yes Cheryl is thinner at the moment but I'm sure she knows what she is doing um, Jan has said the fact that she is thin is far too thin and doesn't look healthy sends messages to young girls and some children that are body curious from an early age she needs to take some responsibility as she's on TV and a role model whether she likes it or not. Um, Karen has said, when I was too thin once, my mother-in-law said I looked like disgusting. On the flip side, I wouldn't dream of saying that to a large person, that they were disgusting. When, why were you thinner? You could be co called rude things. Um, Amy has said, in the same post, Cheryl admitted that she has lost some weight due to family issues. She would easily regain her figure when she has less stress. She isn't choosing to be thin. People's vile comments will hurt another one's feelings, underweight or overweight too. Alicia has said she just looks thin and it is her body at the end of the day. So who are we to judge? We completely agree with that. Um, Amanda, has, Amanda Garrett has said, whilst growing up, I was extremely thin and was bullied for it. I used to th think to myself, why do people think it's okay to bully me for my size, but it's not okay for me to bully someone else who is big? You look fab, Cheryl, go, go. And that's getting quite a lot of likes on this, but obviously people agree. Deborah Humes has said, people just judge in any way, in my opinion. If someone is too thin or too fat, it's not okay. In a personal opinion, therefore, should be kept to themselves. Name calling and bullying and judging is the real issue behind this and we are not ones to judge it's her life at the end of the day let her live um louise palmer said i agree with some i agree calling someone skinny is just hurtful and calling someone fat is even more hurtful but to shame someone looking like this she was absolutely perfect before suppose what it comes to as long as she's happy with herself we agree with that personally cheryl is too thin but she's had so many issues and she will put the weight on she's a stunning girl and she's got a stunning figure too now that's some of your comments, but what do you think? Let us know on our social media platforms and here's how. Get in touch and get involved. You can contact us on our social media platforms, hitting us up on Facebook, following us on Twitter, sending your pics to us on Instagram, and emailing us. I'll look forward to hearing from you.